Hello to everyone. My name is Sister Eleanor. I'm a member of the Tayer Community of Interfaith Franciscans. I'd like to welcome you to Vespers today and hope you're having a lovely day and a lovely evening. Uh, we uh, like to wish a happy Thanksgiving to all of our friends in the UK. Today is a really um, beautiful harvest day for them. And as uh, Brother Sean said, it has uh, comes from Celtic times and celebrated for eons. So we wish them a lovely harvest day and uh, we thank God that they've had a lovely festival, a harvest, uh, a prayer service rather, over at the Monastery of St. Francis in Storth. We wish all of you um, safety uh, who are on the east coast of the, of the uh, United States um, as the, her the uh, tropical storm is now going to be off of New Jersey, which is about 60 miles away from us here in Philadelphia and it is going to intensify into a hurricane and possibly cause some uh, beach erosion and flooding. <clears throat> Here in Philadelphia we are going to be fine, just a lot of rain and some high winds. So uh, we pray for all of those people at the shore. A lot of people have, um, you know, went home early from their Labor Day holidays. Um, this is a big weekend uh, for the last holiday of the summer before children, a lot of children go back to school, even some have gone back to school, however. And so we also say to everyone who is going to have Labor Day tomorrow, happy Labor Day to all of you in the United States. So we pray for them and hope that all goes well at the shore. Um, seeing pictures of the surf, it has, it has really uh, whipped up quite a bit. So. Um, but as I said, this is something that we're used to on the east coast of the United States. We have a lot of hurricanes around the season and what they call nor'easters, which come up the coast to New England. So that being said, okay, let us celebrate each other and celebrate God today and give uh, honor and praise and glory to God who gives us everything good. We have our candle that is lit for peace. And our prayer for peace now is a Hindu prayer for the unity of all life. May the winds, the oceans, the, her the herbs, and night and days, the Mother Earth, the Father Heaven, all vegetation, the sun, be all sweet to us. Let us follow the path of goodness for all times, like the sun and the moon moving eternally in the sky. Let us be charitable to one another. Let us not kill or be violent with one another. Let us know and appreciate the point of view of others and let us unite. May the God who is friendly, benevolent, all-encompassing, measure of everything, the sovereign, the Lord of speech, may he shower his blessings on each and every one of us here today. O oh Lord, remove our indiscretion and all of our arrogance control our minds and put an end to the snare of endless desires. Broaden the sphere of compassion and help us to cross the ocean of existence. So praise God today. Let's just forget all the things that have happened maybe in the early day today and, the, and just concentrate now on being here and praying. Sometimes we need to let go of all the stuff that surrounds us and just concentrate on one thing. And just concentrate on having compassion for one another, love for one another, and love for our Father, Mother, God, who loves us deeply. So let's ask the Spirit now to come in and pray for us. O oh God, come to our assistance. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to our Father, Mother, God, to the Lord Jesus, our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Now we have a poem today. It's um, by Johanna Montialto and it was translated uh, by Robert Bridges in 1899. It's actually from the Greek so it's a really old poem. O gladsome light, O grace of God the Father's face, the eternal splendor wearing, celestial, holy, blessed, our Savior Jesus Christ, joyful in thine appearing. Now, day is slowly fading, 
evening, evening light is showing, evening him outpouring, Father of might unknown, thee his incarnate Son and Holy Ghost adoring. To thee of right belongs all praise of holy songs, O Son of God, life giver. Thee, therefore, O Most High, the world will glorify and shall exalt forever. And as we say every Sunday, we are praying Psalm 110, and it talks about the Messiah as King and Priest. And as I said, I don't quite understand all of Psalm 10, 110, but it is very important, obviously, because it's included in a lot of religious services and a lot of holidays. So we just sit back, even though we don't understand, and we ask God to have us be blessed by the psalm. The antiphon is, The Lord said to my master, Sit on my right. Alleluia. The Lord's revelation to my master, Sit on my right. Your foes I will put beneath your feet. The Lord will wield from Zion your scepter of power, rule in the midst of all of your foes. A prince from the day of your birth, on the holy mountains, before the, from the womb before the dawn I begot you. The Lord has sworn an oath that he will not change. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The master standing at your right hand will shatter kings in the day of his great wrath. He shall drink from the stream by the wayside, and therefore he shall lift up his head. All I know about all of this, okay, what I get out of all of this, and I'm sure you'll get a lot more, is that God knew us before we were even born, and loved us before we were even existed. <clears throat> we always were in God's eyes. And he will always take care of us, no matter what. We don't have to worry about anything. We can drink from the stream by the wayside, and we don't have to worry. Like, you know, some animals, when they're drinking water or they're eating food, they have to constantly look around, make sure nothing's coming to hurt them or get them. We don't have to worry about that. God has our back no matter what. You just have to believe that this is so. You can't keep fighting it. You just have to kind of let go and let God, as they say. So glory to our Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus, our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Father, Mother God, we ask you to give us victory and peace. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and our King, we are already seated at your right hand. We look forward to praising you in the fellowship of all your saints in our heavenly homeland. And again, the antiphon is, the Lord said to my master, Sit at my right hand. Alleluia. And now we're going to pray this psalm right after it, Psalm 111. And this psalm is a psalm which concentrates on the Lord, Lord's marvelous works. And we're praising God for all his works today, for everything that he has done, which is very fitting for your Thanksgiving um, ceremony today. I will thank the Lord with all my heart in the meeting of the just and their assembly. Greater the works of the Lord to be pondered by all who love him, love them. Majesty, majestic and glorious his work, his justice stands firm forever. He makes us remember his wonders. The Lord is compassion and love. He gives food to the, those who revere him and keeps his covenant ever in mind. He has shown his might to his people by giving them the lands of the nations. His works are justice and truth. His precepts are all of them sure, standing firm for ever and ever. They are made in uprightness and truth. He has sent deliverance to his people and established his covenant forever. Holy his name to be revered. To revere the Lord is the first stage of wisdom and all who do so prove themselves wise. His praise shall last forever. Glory to our Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus, who is our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
You're both merciful and gentle, Lord, and you are the crowning glory of all saints. Give us, your children, the gift of obedience, which is the beginning of wisdom, so that we may do what you command, and so be filled with your mercy. In the antiphon again is our compassionate Lord has left us a memorial of his wonderful work. Alleluia. And now we're praying today also a song from Revelation. And this song is the wedding of the Lamb, the wedding of our spirits to God's spirit. <clears throat> the antiphon is, All power is yours, Lord God, our mighty King. Alleluia. Alleluia. Salvation, glory, and power to our God. His judgments are honest and true. Alleluia. Alleluia. Sing praise to our God, all you his servants, all who worship him reverently, great and small. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord is our powerful God and King. Let us rejoice, sing praise, and give him glory. Alleluia. Alleluia. The wedding feast of the Lamb has begun, and his bride is prepared to welcome him. Alleluia. <coughs> glory to our Father, Mother, God to the Lord Jesus, our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <coughs> Excuse me. O power is yours, Lord God, our mighty King. And now we have um, a reading from Peter. This is what Peter says to us today. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, he who in his great mercy gave us new birth, a birth unto hope which draws its life from the resurrection of Christ from the dead, a birth to an imperishable inheritance, incapable of fading or defilement. It is kept in heaven for you, who are guarded with God's power through faith, a birth to a salvation which stands ready to be revealed in the last days. There is cause for rejoicing here. And please know that we always have cause for rejoicing, no matter what. You may for a time have to suffer the distress of many trials, but this is so that your faith, which is more precious than the passing splendor of fire-tried gold, may by its genuinely to praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ appears. And just know that faith is different for all of us. Every one of us has an idea of what faith is in our lives. Faith is based on trust and love. It all ultimately goes to love. And we all have that, that need for unconditional love in our lives, which is based on faith and trust. So let's praise God for all of it and know that we're working through every day. We're, we're constant work. We're constantly being formed and recreated. I know that all of us are. And we're not perfect. And we're probably never going to be perfect. But we're loved just the same. So we have to first love ourselves and love God also. And ask the Lord to really show himself in our lives every single day of our lives. And we see him in the most mundane sometimes of moments. So let's pray for that now. And our response is, the whole of creation proclaims the greatness of your glory. The whole of creation proclaims the greatness of your glory. Eternal ages praise the greatness of your glory. Glory to our Father, Mother, God, to the Lord Jesus, our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God. The whole of creation proclaims the greatness of your glory. Amen and amen. Now, dear ones, let's not forget the divine feminine of God by praying the Song of Mary, a song of joy, which actually applies to all of us as well. Today, our antiphon is, who re, who, whoever refuses to take up his cross and follow me cannot be my disciple, says the Lord. And what does that mean, to take up your cross? It just means to follow the path that is the best for you in life. With all of its little twists and turns, with all of its failings, with all of its troubles, but also with all of its graces and goodness. 
So let's say with Mary, our souls proclaim the greatness of the Lord and our spirits rejoice in God who is our Savior. For he has looked with favor on each and every one of us. From this day, all generations will call us blessed for the Almighty has done great things for all of us and holy is his name. He has mercy on us who revere him in every generation and he shows the strength of, our, of his arm in our lives every day and the rich he sends away empty but fills the hungry with good things. He scatters the proud in their conceit and he casts down the mighty from their thrones but all of us he lifts up who are lowly. He has come to the help of his servant Israel which is you and I for he has remembered his promise of mercy the promises that he makes daily to us the same promises he made to our fathers and our mothers to Abraham and Sarah and their children forever. Glory to our Father, Mother, God, to the Lord Jesus, who is our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Whoever refuses to take up his cross and follow me cannot be my disciple, says the Lord. And now, dear ones, we come to the part where we pray for each other and praise our Father, Mother, God. And today I would like to ask um, St. Teresa of Calcutta to pray for us. Today, um, Mother Teresa was made a saint in Rome. Um, and so we ask her to pray for us today, for all of us. The world was created by the Word of God, recreated by His redemption, and is continually renewed by love. Rejoicing in him, we call out, Renew the wonders of your love, Lord. So let's say it again. Renew the wonders of your love, Lord. We give thanks to God whose power is revealed in nature and whose providence is revealed in history. And we pray, Renew the wonders of your love, Lord. Through your Son, the herald of reconciliation, the victor of the cross, Free us from all empty fear and hopelessness, and we pray, renew the wonders of your love, Lord. May all those who love and pursue justice work together without deceit to build a world of true peace, and we pray, renew the wonders of your love, Lord. Be with all of us who are oppressed, free the captives, console all of us who are sorrowing, Feed the hungry and strengthen all of us who are weak. In all people, reveal the victory of your cross and your resurrection. And we pray, renew the wonders of your love, Lord. After your son's death and burial, you raised him up in glory. Grant that all of those who are faithful departed may live with him. And we pray, renew the wonders of your love, Lord. We pray for you, Brother Sean. We pray for everyone that is at the monastery at Storth. We pray for Rob and Jean on their travels to Scotland. And we pray that all is in peace and love. And we pray, renew the wonders of your love, Lord. For all of you who are not logged in, we pray for all of your intentions, for, the God, for God's goodness to descend upon you in abundance. And we pray, renew the wonders of your love, Lord. We pray for all of us who are sorrowing, all of us who are off kilter in any way, any of us who are sick, and we pray, renew the wonders of your love, Lord. For all the members of the Teo community, both past and present, we ask God to bless each and every one of us, and we pray, renew the wonders of your love, Lord. With Brother Sean, we hold myself and dear Elizabeth with all living in the face of the storms for protection. And we pray, renew the wonders of your love, Lord. And I know that everyone will be protected. And um, I know it's kind of quirky, but I do love storms. So, but we pray that everybody at the shore is going to be okay, especially. And we also pray for all of our little pets, especially those in harm's way from high winds and from rain. And we say, renew the wonders of your love, Lord. 
With Brother Sean, we hold all who came today to the Monastery of Stuart, making our Thanksgiving Harvest Festival a special event. And we thank God and we pray. Renew the wonders of your love, Lord. We hold Brother Ron's niece in prayer. And we pray, renew the wonders of your love, Lord. We ask for blessings on everyone here today. We ask for everybody to feel the Lord's presence in their hearts right now. We ask that you have peace. And we pray, <clears throat> we knew the wonders of your love, Lord. We pray for Elsie and also Richard, especially with Elsie. I know she had a fall, had falls a while back, and we hope that she's doing well. And we pray, renew the wonders of your love, Lord. And now I'd like to ask if we could just have a moment of silence where we can pray to our Father, Mother, God in our hearts. And we pray, renew the wonders of your love, Lord. Now together let's join hands across the miles, wherever we may be, and pray in unity and love, our Father, Mother, God. Our Father, Mother, God, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who've trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, yours is the power, and yours is the glory, now and forever. Amen. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters here, that those of us may receive, that are here may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. We ask this through our Lord, the Cosmic Christ, who is your Son and our brother, and who reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless each and every one of us today, protect us from every evil, and bring us to the fullness of life. Amen. And now for our final blessing. May you experience the rest and provision of God where you've only known striving and surviving. May you experience God's great strength come to bear when you've only known weakness and frustration. May you experience fresh life and hope where you've only known heartbreak and struggle. God is alive and at work in the world today. May your life reflect his redeeming power today. And may you sleep deeply and sweetly tonight. Amen. Thank you all for being here today and God's blessings on all of us here. And whatever we're celebrating, no matter what it is, maybe we're just celebrating who we are and the fact that God loves us and, and that's it. And that's big. We ask that the Lord richly bless every one of you and give you everything that you need to live your life to the fullest today. Have a good night and a great day tomorrow. Namaste.